the cloud. There we go. And is it showing recording? Can y'all see? Yes, it is. So welcome, welcome, everyone. And I am excited for you because I get to introduce to you a, lot, a young lady that um, I've been fortunate enough to be able to get to know. And, um, you know, she's just amazing. And you heard Ian as he was sharing, and he was sharing, you know, about the fact that we were driving up and we were listening to her do a training and we were blown away. So you are definitely in for a treat. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Miss Julie. You say her name the way you want to. Um, Julie already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is too funny. That is <laughs> we won't talk about my name right now because that could take an hour. Um, so thank you so much, Chris. You're such a joy to work with. And so is Ian. And I just absolutely love this company because it's so real and it's so raw. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that. So um, so for any of you that have never been on a Zoom, it's the strangest thing. I mean, it's like, it's so dry. It's like, it's like talking on Mars. It's like, hello, is there anybody there? Because like, there's no feedback. And um, I think we should start adding, you know, the laughter and the clapping that the sitcoms have, because that would be a lot more fun. Okay, anyway, so my name is Julie Dyke, and uh, sometimes known as Julie Dick. And uh, I live in Ottawa, we have four older kids, we both come from large families, I had our last baby at age 40, because I had two miscarriages. And I felt I was actually dreading turning 40 until I was six months pregnant because I felt 25 and we were doing what we always wanted to do. We both came from large families. So um, I have a musical family. I come from a musical family. I've been in band since I was 18 years old. My dad was a singer and a violin player. My brother, a singer and a guitarist. We have singing cousins. Uh, so there's lots of music in our family. I grew up on a farm actually until I was 13 years old and it was incredible. It was amazing. I mean, climbing apple trees uh, with my little salt shaker. I was eating little tiny green apples after they had just turned from the bloom. And my mom would yell at me and say, don't eat those apples, you're gonna get a bellyache. But I never did. So we had tire swings. I used to work in the fields on the tractor and race home on the wagons before a storm. and I used to swim in this disgusting old rusty old bin. I ugh, can't even, oh, and I think about that, that must've been so disgusting. The water seriously must've been there for like two weeks. We had, uh, we had 60 Holstein milking cows, about 30 wild cats and always a dog. And it was crazy times on the farm. My dad's finger actually got cut off and he put it in his pocket and he went to the doctors and they sewed it back on and thank God because he was a violin player and he couldn't have played properly without that finger. Um, my dog, uh, my dog, my mom actually ran over my dog one day. He was old and he was blind and my brother had to come out and shoot him. So it all seemed so normal back then. <laughs> I was the youngest of six, much like the Brady Bunch, three boys, three girls. And I barely remember my oldest siblings being there. I didn't get to meet all of my grandparents because I was so young. I used to sing to the animals at night. I was super shy and I was in the barn. And when everyone would go into the house, I would sing. And I, I would look up to that big um, sky of stars and I would sing. I thought it was Karen Carpenter. I would sing. Calling occupants of interplanetary craft. <laughs> oh my gosh, I studied nursing at school um, until I developed a back kind of a, a back issue. So I ended up going into business and that took me into the high tech company where I met my husband. And I was a people person walking around in a computer company. So it looked like this, like it would be lunchtime and I'd go, hey guys, where are we going for lunch today? And they, they wouldn't even answer me. They were like, brown bagging it at their computers um, my first in my our actually our first um, exposure to the industry was in that company because our vice president from Toronto flew into town uh, to work with us but he also they also him and his wife did a surprise presentation at the end of the day and my husband and I we laughed all the way home we're like what the what the heck this is our vice president but guess who the joke was on? 
I could have joined New Skin when I was 24 years old. I was such a fool. Um, so basically, I ended up getting into the industry completely by mistake. My massage therapist looked great, showed me a brochure. I had always been interested in health and wellness. And when I saw the ingredients, I'm like, oh my God, I need that. She put me in the system. We didn't know what we were doing. She actually put me in the wrong place. And before I even got my product, I had shared it with my sister and my friend at the gym. And I had called customer service because I literally had no clue what I was doing. Um, lo and behold, I get an email one day telling me I earned income and I'm like, what? What the heck is this? And it's funny because a brand partner just told me that about her two days ago. Um, so someone in my upline saw what I was doing because I started building, just really not even knowing what I'm doing, right? Um, someone in my upline reached down and offered me a ticket to a local event in Ottawa. And she... And so here's the thing. I mean, I was in a high tech company full of politics and I walked into a room full of supportive, kind people. And I was like, you mean there's a world out there that exists like this? And that was a perfect world for me because I was the people person, you know, I'm not saying that you can't do it if you're a different type of person, but that for me, that was like, oh my God. It was heaven. So I've been in the industry now for 12 years. My first company, I did pretty well, um, but I was ignorance on fire. And I'm sure there was lots of verbal vomit going on back then. And it was a complicated system. Okay. But I was so excited. I ended up leaving that company um, because of the greed after probably a year and a half or two years after, because of the greed of an upline leader. I had just seen too many episodes of the Brady Bunch. So I got into another wellness company that actually, that actually turned into a travel company and it wasn't well set up in Canada. And what was happening is people were paying a monthly fee for trips that they couldn't go on because Canada, Canada didn't have the flights. So that bothered me and I stopped. I found another great wellness company, Good Culture, that eventually merged an, into an essential oil company. And I love essential oils, but it was just something that wasn't appealing to me. So I didn't do the transition. So I decided to stop working in the industry, which I never thought I would do because I love it so much. And um, we bought this house here, which is actually a 1953 bungalow. And it was really bad. I mean, really bad. It was takedown bad. And so I basically took two years and renovated it, remodeled it all. We lived in a couple of rooms in the back and then we switched and all that great stuff. Anyways, so I actually gained weight during that two years and from stress, stress and wine, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> so anyways, um, then I'm like, oh my God, I need to do something here. Um, so I was actually going to go back to my original company. Um, and this girl comes along. Well, no, actually, sorry, back up a little bit. I decided as well, I did need to lose weight, but I decided I love interior design. We had built a new house from scratch, did this remodeling. I thought, you know what? I'm going to start my own interior design business. And, um, and anyways, my husband had done my website, everything. And I had clients lined up and my sponsor came along. Hmm. I just want to see where I am here. Um, yes. So my sponsor came along, but I have to tell you, she called me and she was super excited. She was leaving to go on a trip on an event for, for this company. And she made it too complicated. I literally, and I know quite a bit about health and wellness. I didn't know what the heck she was talking about. She was like, you know, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins, uh, Kevin Thomas, for later, blah, 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 and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, just go on your little trip and call me again someday. You know, that, that was it. So I hardly knew this girl and a buddy of mine that I respected in the industry one day threw me into a random Facebook group because back then you could, you could throw people in, in business. Like they didn't have to accept the invite. So he threw me in this random thing and he posted a video of him making, it was either the coffee or the chocolate. Cause that's all we had back then. 
And the thing was, it really didn't have a lot of value, this video or content, but he was excited. He was super excited. And I thought, I'm like, if Dave is excited about this, I am excited about this. And so basically I did some research and um, I found out it was the same company that that girl had been trying to explain to me. And I ended up joining her because I thought she was, she would be a great leader. And she was, uh, she had this very aloof posture and um, she was confident and she believed in the product and she was excited. So I just wanted to share that because there are actually some lessons in there about keeping it simple and that sort of stuff. But basically now I'm going to get into a little bit more practical things. Um, this is what's working for me. And of course, if Chris is listening, um, you know, let me, I guess, let me bring in the four step simple system right now so that he is happy with me. And this guys is what I have done. See this? See these? Can you guys see this? So I have these big words right here on my desk every day. And you know what, I'll say them kind of quick, but you don't really have to write them down. I have this in a PDF I can share with everyone in all the teams, in all the groups. But you know, it's basically, do you know anyone that drinks coffee or tea? You know what, I'm going to use my newest one, which is, do you know anyone that drinks coffee, tea or lemonade? And then it's, have you heard of the happy coffee or happy challenge that everybody's talking about? And be excited and then share your story right? You, you're going to ask questions and then you're going to say, oh my God, have you heard of the happy coffee everybody's talking about? And then you share your story and then you connect them to a tool. Okay. And one of the tools is our beautiful, at least our group is called your daily dose. And there's 16,000 people in there and people are sharing their stories of what it's done for them. So I simply say, look, we've got this, uh, there's a private group where people are sharing their stories of what this has done for them. I can invite you to the group and tag you in relatable stories. What are you looking for? And that's what I say. And like Cassandra Massini will say it different. She'll say, what are the three benefits you're looking for? I just happen to say, um, what are you looking for? Because in my opinion, they're often looking for more than just two or three things. Um, and then you just invite them to the group with a si simple click of a button. And then you tag them in your favorite relatable stories by searching out those keywords. Okay. And then they're either going to come back and they're going to go, Oh my God, I need to buy this. How do I get it? And if that's the case, you just share your link. Now they might not come back right away. They might come back in a week. They might come back in a month, but you should follow up in about 48 days or uh, 48 days. Oh my gosh, 48 hours or so. Um, but I tell you, I have so many people in there. I don't always get to that at the moment, but here's what I find you can you can constantly remind these people by liking their posts and they're like oh shoot I got to look at that you know there's a way to drip on people without being um, overbearing um, so basically they either want to buy it I even had two women that came back that I don't even remember putting in there probably like a year ago and they're like Julie I'm ready it's like wow <laughs> that group is golden guys that group is golden but there's other tools there's videos from our app there's the website is incredible now. All the science is there. All the ingredients for those green people that really want to dig down and, and find out all that stuff, okay? The last, the last um, step is, so if they don't come back and buy it right away, they come back with questions. You simply pass the ball. Pass the ball to your upline, whoever you think they're going to connect with. I like connecting guys with guys. I don't know. That's what I like to do. So basically, that's what you do. You put them in a three-way chat. You let your upline do the work and then you sign them up. Simple as that. Four step system. So get on the get on the product to be happy. That's a definite. Um, number two, uh, share your story. Number three, send them a tool. And number four, connect, 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 pass the ball. OK, guys. So I'm glad I covered that because a lot of what I'm going to say here has the system implemented into it. But I want just to make sure that it is simple because I'm just going to kind of get into a little bit more nitty gritty here. So um, basically, I just want to share this for all you networkers out there. This company is not like anything I've ever experienced before. It is so refreshing. The culture, the community, the family is indescribable. 
We have a high impact product that sometimes is felt within 14 minutes of drinking it. A product that's helping so many right now with their physical and their mental health and their happiness and helping er people earn income when they might be losing their businesses. And that is happening here right now. And there's so many people struggling right now. Um, it doesn't get better than this, guys. What we have here, it just doesn't get better. If this is your first company, count your blessings. Go buy a, a lottery ticket because you're here. This is your home. Okay. Um, so I mentioned the four. Okay. So we have a four-step system. Remember, like I was saying, that original company I was in was complicated. This is not complicated. We want a five-year-old or a 95-year-old to be able to do this. If we don't keep it simple, your business will not excel because people will think that they have to know it all and that will actually restrict you. Simply share a tool, a video, the website has all the ingredients and the science to back it up. That's what we do. So here's this funny thing. I looked back on my notes from two years ago and I couldn't believe my eyes. I read, have you heard of the happy coffee everyone is talking about? I'm like, are you kidding me? How did I miss that? They told me that guys two years ago and I didn't, it didn't sink in. It didn't. Um, and I don't want my team and I don't want you guys to waste your time like I did. I want you guys to start off on the right foot. We all learn every day. You just have to be a little bit coachable and willing to learn the simple system. And we pick up nuggets. I always want chicken nuggets, but they're always golden nuggets, man. <laughs> um, so just a little tweak sometimes in how someone says something. It's fascinating. It's like, oh my God, wow, I am writing that down. Because we all say things a little different. And when Cassandra speaks, I'm like, oh my God, I'm in awe. I'm just like, I'm taking it all in like a sponge, you know? Um, and you see, leaders are taught, they're not born this way. And you can be, you can be a leader if that's what you desire. And they're very much like singers, okay? So singers, we all sing the same classic songs, but we all sound a little different. Everyone is unique, not bad or good, but unique. And thank goodness for that, because otherwise the world would be so boring. So that leads me to this. So you are going to run into nice people and you're going to run into grumpy people. So I'm just like my dog. Some days he's the biggest suck on earth. Other days he's a big grump and that's okay. Um, you never know what people are dealing with. It's not a reflection of who you are or you. It has nothing to do with you. It's where they are at this point in their life. Don't try to convince, just share stories, connect them to your upline. They have questions, facts, tell, stories, sell. Those convinced against their will are of the same opinion still. If people don't respond, that's normal. I'm actually surprised when people respond because everyone is super busy right now, right? Um, and there's so many distractions in the world. So again, little reminders, like liking their stuff. They're like, oh yeah, I got to go place my order. Okay. Don't worry about the noise. Okay. The negative, the naysayers, they just don't know. They don't know. It's like trying to explain what it's like to have children when they don't have any yet. It's almost impossible. I actually love the noise. I didn't always, but I love the noise now. It's, it's a challenge, you know, um, show them, show them with your success. Here's a really cool thing. If you guys have seen or haven't seen, you should watch it. The Tiger Woods documentary is incredible. So his dad is speaking to his friend on the golf course while Tiger is taking the shot. And he's talking like loudly to his friend and he's jiggling the keys in his pocket. He wants Tiger to get accustomed to the noise and be resilient. Don't be afraid of the noise. That's just noise, okay? Um, don't ever be afraid and don't be offended. Add people on Facebook, especially networkers. You can tell if they're network networkers usually because you have so many mutual friends, okay? Now, I'm not talking about our company because if you 
if you start adding all of our networking friends in our company, you're not going to have room for prospects. Okay. The other thing is the lead, I mean, it's great to have a few because you want a few because you're, um, those coworkers, even though you're not financially linked to them, they're still going to be supportive because this company is so amazing and they're going to comment on your stuff. So that is fantastic. But um, most leaders post public anyway. So even if you're not a friend, you're going to see their stuff on Facebook and you're going to learn from that, right? Um, reach out to people you don't know. You've got nothing to lose. It's not scary. Don't think about it. Just do it. It takes seconds. Get out of your own way. Take a minute to check their profile. Where are they from? Are they in another company? Reach out with a voice clip. It's more personal. There are so many scammers out there, honestly. I almost got scammed yesterday. I like to do a combo of voice clips and a little bit of typing because a long time of typing is too long for me. Um, and especially if it's your first reach out, because what I find is people are getting notified of voice clips when it's your first reach out. That's what I think anyways. Um, so I'll just say, hi, Sandy. Oh my gosh, you're from North Carolina. We drove through North Carolina once. It is so gorgeous. Something like that. How's the weather today? You know, just it's just something simple like that. Um, I like to use happy faces and yellow hearts. They're bright and they're cheery and the whole world needs more cheery right now, right? Be real and genuine, okay? Um, a woman the other day, and when you're looking at their bio and what they do, a woman the other day, um, I noticed that she's, she's a holistic mental health clinic worker or something, owner. And I just like reached out to her as like, oh my God, is this what you do? We have to connect. You know, guys, just be confident. Just be confident. And now she's all excited, right? Um, the universe, guys, will 100% guide you, okay? Trust the universe. It is uncanny the amount of people that I speak to that I ne I've never met a day in my life. I don't have no clue who they are. And when we get chatting, I find out they're about to lose their house. They might have a son or a daughter that's depressed. Man, that is, and I will, I will just blatantly say to them, oh my God, I literally feel like I'm being guided. I just kind of going with the flow and just doing what I, I just letting myself be guided really. And, and look, look for those clues that there's clues are everywhere. When you're looking at somebody's Facebook profile, you're going to see the word happy. You're going to see a cup of coffee. You're going to see uh, someone like who's posted um, a meme on, on uh, depression or mental health. There's sad people crying all the time if you're looking. And I mean, you're going to start seeing them everywhere. And it's almost like, you know, when you go buy a car and then all of a sudden that's all you see is that car and you never saw that car before. Everybody has the same stinking car. Or if you're, if you're a woman and you get pregnant, Oh my God, the world is full of pregnant women. I've never noticed that before. And it's like that, guys, with the clues when you start looking. Reach out to your chicken list, okay? That's the people you're afraid to reach out to, the people you respect and who are successful and all that great stuff. Because first of all, just again, don't think about it. Quick voice clip. Because you're gonna feel better just having done that. It's almost like when you're concerned about your health, and you make that doctor's appointment. You can put that in the back of your head. You're going to actually feel good when you reach out to your chicken list people. And not only that, they're probably business oriented and open, right? Because they're smart. Um, I always commend on. Um, I always commend people for what they do. So I'll just literally say, "What company are you in?" And and by the way, the more the the more the more people that you have, like. Um, you know, if I have only two people as a mutual friend, I, I probably don't send them a friend request, but if I have a hundred people as a mutual friend, cause they're all networkers. If I have like 400 mutual friends, they're big networkers. You want to reach out to them. Okay. So that's keep that in mind. Okay. Um, so what company are you, are you in? And, and it's like, oh my gosh, you're an Avon. 
I have the fondest memories of Avon because when I was a little girl, my mom gave me one of those little catalogs and she said, pick something out, we'll get it. I mean, I just, I think that's incredible. And I want you guys to know, I am not, um, you see, I'm only there to help. I'm not there to try to get them to change their company. Um, so I just know that we have something that can help them, right? And not, it not only can it help them, but it can help them in their existing businesses because they're going to have better mental clarity and focus than they've ever had. So even though they're in other companies, get them on the product. Who knows, right? What'll happen? Not like, and, and that's another thing. You, you know, you assume people are happy in their businesses, but they're not always happy. They're not always winning. Like Ricky would say, you don't always buy the first dress that you try on, right? Sometimes you have to try on many. So, I want you guys to know this, okay? If you guys did not have a lot of love growing up, you've got it here. If you don't have the confidence in yourself right now, have confidence in the products, in your upline, in the company. It will come. It will come with time. And I don't play games. You know, like when you're in high school and you have to pretend that you don't like the boy, the boy that you really like. When I met my husband, I was done with that. I'm like, I like you. Like, I like you. <laughs> and I respect people. I don't pretend I'm busy or I can't get on the phone right now because I'm busy. I don't do that. I'm like, when is it a good time for you to jump on a call or a video chat? I will make myself available. That's what I like to say. And to me, video chats are the best, in my opinion. And then Chris might say different, but right now, especially in these times, but they're personal. You don't have to drive anywhere. It doesn't take hours to do. You can be any, you can do it anywhere in the world. It doesn't cost you anything. You only have to be half dressed. <laughs> and um, they want to see that you have a head and a mouth and you're a real person with emotion and feelings and that you care. You actually truly care. So just a couple other things. We, here's how we, here's how we, uh, we kind of share this. We do curiosity posts, okay? So we call it a mugshot. Take a picture of you with your cup of coffee, all right? Share your story, like short Three sentences, use less words that say more and speak from your heart, okay? Be real and be transparent if you can, okay? Post it public, get your upline to help you with that story and you'll get messages from that, okay? We don't push anything here, we don't sell. You want people to be attracted to you and to your energy and your stories that you, that you share. So. I just did a live a couple about a week or so ago, and I just started to do lives and they're scary too, right? Don't overthink it. Again, just have a topic or a story to share and just press play. Um, so, and don't try to be perfect because perfect isn't relatable. And um, so I did one about singing. It was about singing actually, and being, um, being afraid to get up and sing after someone who's really fantastic. and a musician girl reached out to me and she basically just said, I saw your video. I thought you were nice. And she just had some questions about what I do. And it turns out this woman has a salon. She's closed right now. She needs money. And she has a son who's has anxiety and depression. And he told her that all of his buddies did too. So guys, that was a post about singing had absolutely nothing to do with this and the business. So um, here's another thing, accept group invites. Like I must be in 400 groups and I don't really have the time to go in those groups yet, but if I ever needed to, they're there. But if you do go, if you need to go into them and just add value, just don't like try to take people or anything like that, just add value. And people are gonna start to wonder, what do you do? And they're gonna check out your wall and that sort of stuff. Now, for people that are busy, and please don't 
don't even think about what I do because like, I'm very fortunate right now. I'm doing this full time. I've got a very supportive husband and he's picking up the slack around here. So don't ever compare yourself or your business to somebody else. Um, but if you're working, okay, it only literally takes two seconds to send 10 messages in the morning. And um, like, you can't even go to the, the bathroom, seriously, in that amount of time. And you can respond at lunch and you can continue in the evening. And these can go, you know, for a few days or whatever, right? And you can, you can always follow up as time goes by. So the Facebook stories are fantastic because those comments up there in the stories, they go directly to their messenger. And it could be anything like, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Or hi, yeah, you know, or I'm stealing this. Um, because all of those things will get the conversation going. And even just good morning with the sun, they're going to say good morning. They will. So I'm almost done. And I just want to say anybody can do this. I'm nobody special. I'm a farmer's daughter. Remember those farmer's jokes? That wasn't true, but um, I'm just a girl with a desire to help and make a difference. And I'm going to leave you with this analogy. So your business, and I, you know what, I didn't even know this, like it really didn't click in, um, you know, at first now in the last couple of months, since I've gotten active again, your business runs on a calendar month. Okay. So imagine a horse race. You're the horse. Get in the race. You're not racing against each other though. It's your team you're running together, you're bettering yourselves. The start line is the first day of the month. The 30th is the finish line. Each time that you run the race, you get better. So next month, you're gonna start off in a different place. You're faster, you're more in tune, you're better self-developed, you're in better shape. Get to that finish line, that rank, your goal, you're gonna win. Thank you so much, everybody, for your time and your energy and your love. And I have no idea if Chris is still there driving his car or how to end this. <laughs> I guess we just end this. That just was awesome. Your group. You are amazing. amazing. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Hi, Lisa. Thank, Thank you. Julie, you. Great. Julie, you're awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Thank Julie. you, Julie. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Amazing. Awesome job, girl. Thank you, honey. Thank you.